that the Lord is here. Hebrews 7 verse 7. Let me show you. This is one of the biggest secrets of my life. I want to share with you something that will change your life tonight. I tell you, if you believe this, if you believe this, you will be changed forever. Behold, I show you a mystery. Lord, open our eyes. Respect what you are about to hear. <laughs> Verse 1. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the most high God, who met Abraham, returning from the slaughter of the kings, and what? Blessed him. Number 2. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Three, without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but made like unto the Son of God, abided a priest continually. Verse six, but he whose descent is not counted from them, received tithes from Abraham and blessed him of all the promises. Verse 7, read with me together. One to go. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. Read it one more time. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed. Stand up. Please stand up. Just stand up. Pray a prayer in one minute and say, Lord, my life is about to change as I hear this revelation. I humble myself. Let your word come as light. Please pray this prayer just one minute because God is about to change lives right now. God is about to shift levels. Please pray. Oh, yes, doors will open forever for certain people. Lord, I pray. I pray. This revelation has changed my life. It has changed the lives of many. I pray that men will be commanders of results. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Look at this. Listen to me. Let me give you certain revelations. Number one. You must realize that in the kingdom of God, listen, listen to me. The anointing is carried in the kingdom of God through human vessels. Are you listening to me? Human vessels are the carriers of God's power, of God's unction, of God's ability. And the Bible says without contradiction. In other words, this one, you can't argue on it. You can't preach another message about it. He said the lesser is blessed of the greater. Abraham is the father of what many people call the Abrahamic covenant. The Bible makes us to understand that the king came, I mean that Abraham came from the slaughter of certain people and he spoiled them. The Bible says he came and he took a tenth of the offering and he blessed one man called Melchizedek. Hallelujah. And the Bible says Melchizedek looked at Abraham and blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham possessor of the most high and Paul is giving us a revelation here using the life of Melchizedek and Abraham and he told him he said without contradiction in the realm of the spirit it is only the lesser are you listening to me it's only one who is higher who has the capacity pastor please come who has the capacity to take you and to lift you into his higher place of anointing follow me in the realm of the spirit listen to me only one who is higher than you has the capacity to draw you and the limit to which he can draw you is the limit of his anointing no man can draw you above his anointing are you listening to me that's why when God wanted to swear, he looked for one who was higher than him so he could submit to him and say, please help me swear to these people. When he did not find anybody, he said, oh, since I'm the only one, I swear by myself. Are you listening to me? Powerful principle. Listen, listen. I want to give you the unbeatable secret the unbeatable secret of the anointing growing in the anointing and financial prosperity when you want to rise you don't sow to people lower than you they can't lift you when you get to your wealthy place this is called charity 
are you listening to me you sow upwards and then you are called higher are you following me now without contradiction it is only the lesser that receives from the greater hallelujah i want to show you the principle of walking in the anointing i never allow any man who is higher or greater than me do anything in my presence that i can do for many of you you have been misled and deceived that you only give that honor to your pastor or your spiritual father and many of you have passed anointings that can set you free but because of the stereotype of ministry it has to be me my pastor my father my this and that listen to me and without contradiction the lesser is empowered and lifted to the realm of the greater When I saw this scripture, I repented from talking about men of God and people. I want to show you why the doors are shut for many people and many ministries and many individuals. Hallelujah. Listen to me. In 2004, I wanted the anointing so badly. I had been seeing the manifestation of God's spirit in my life. And Reinhard Bonke came for a crusade in Joss. Are you listening to me? Reinhard Bonke came for a crusade in Joss. I left Zaria and I ran to Joss. The first day, there was a mighty manifestation. Hundreds of thousands of people came. Are you listening to me? The second day, I was angry. You know why? Because I didn't serve in that crusade. I knew that when you honor a man, listen to me. Honor opens the door of any man's anointing. You will never receive of the anointing of a man you dishonor and criticize. Hmm. I went, pastor, listen, for six hours, I was standing in that crusade ground. You know what I was doing? I was looking for what to do. There was nothing to be done. Later on, I saw them pushing people who were sick. I said, beautiful. I said, can I join them? They said, I'm not part of the committee. They trained them. I said, committee or no committee. I came from Zaria with a hunger. I was pushing the people and I was praying in tongues. Nobody knew me then. Without controversy, the lesser is blessed of the greater. When I pushed the wheelchairs, I stood there. People were packed full. And I stood there. I said, Lord, I honor this servant of yours. I know that this man is great. I didn't give him any seed. But I honored him in my spirit. I said, Lord, I believe this guy is a carrier of an anointing. I respect it. I believe it. I covet it. When I stood there, Renard Bonke finished preaching. And they, they prayed for people for salvation. They wanted to pray for baptisms. Then, I had not started praying for people for baptism. And I said, Lord, how can one man pray for hundreds of thousands of people and they will receive the Holy Ghost? And I stood. I said, Lord, I believe. And I will never forget Renard Bonke was going to drink water. Suddenly, I looked up, and for the first time, I saw the visible manifestation of the Holy Spirit. I saw a bed that would be as big as this auditorium, was just hovering around the people. You know, his crusades, you stand. Suddenly, I saw it had silvery wings, and the, the Lord just took me to this scripture where Elisha told Elijah, If you can see me, if you can see me as I'm taking up suddenly i saw that bed i thought other people were seeing it but i realized that i was the only one who was seeing it do you know by the time i finished the encounter with that manifestation of the holy spirit i turned and i found out that i was already back in the stage i don't know when i turned to face babe. and from that day an anointing came upon my life there is no one i pray for for the baptism who does not get filled with the holy ghost are you listening to me many of you have cultivated the attitude of dishonoring people i will never forget one time that i went to go and buy was it sugar cane or something and i saw two old women many of you will not honor them because they are not your pastor and i saw the old women just 10 or 15 naira i paid for them and they said you know how old women bless they were speaking 
and I didn't hear what they said but I will never forget one thing one of the women said he said forever you will walk on gold that's what she told me are you listening to me as you see me like this brothers and sisters I am a product of many encounters and many anointings because I realize everything you have not seen in your life you have not known how to receive it whatever it is that you have not seen in your life you have not yet known how to receive it because it's available are you listening to me before Charles and Francis Hunter died when I heard that they died I cried you know why I cried because I was planning that I was going to go to the US and my plan was that I was going to book two weeks with them guess what I wanted to go and do not to go and preach to them the way many of you want to do I wanted to go and scrub their toilets and wash their clothes for two weeks I wanted to beg them to allow me scrub the toilets and wash their clothes for two weeks and without controversy the lesser is blessed of the greater Are you listening to me? It's a law. Whoever has what you do not have has the ability to impart it upon you. Whether it's your roommate, whether it's your brother. Listen, there are many barren women who will remain barren because they do not know how to open the doors of destiny. If you are a barren woman, Go and find a woman that has given birth and say, Madam, can I please wash your plate? And without controversy, the lesser. They may not pray for you. It's a law that happens automatically. Are you listening to me? See, 2 Chronicles. 2 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 1. The Bible tells us something. Because of time, I may not read it. Just write it. Look up, please. I studied my Bible and I saw that this principle was consistent. Do you remember the Bible talks about Solomon? Pastor, please sit down. Hallelujah. The Bible says Solomon was so blessed. He was so wealthy. Is that correct? When his news got round and the queen of Sheba heard about him, the Bible says the queen of Sheba gathered seeds. What did she do? How will you run to a man who is already prosperous and you are carrying seeds? Without controversy, the lesser can bring you into his realm. Cheaply. Are you listening to me? And the Bible says she came and met Solomon. And when she spoke with Solomon, the first thing she did, there's no time. The first thing she did was to acknowledge the fact that Solomon was greater than her. Listen, it is not weakness to realize that somebody is better than you. In this realm, there are people you are better than and there are people who are better than you. The ability to acknowledge them will open up their anointing for you. Are you listening to me? She acknowledged that truly there was no man like Solomon. And guess the next thing she did? She packaged her gifts and she gave Solomon question. How do you bless a man who is already blessed? Are you listening to me? Because he has an anointing that can bring you to his realm. That woman heard of the fame of Solomon and said, ah, ah, no, no, I need to find out what is going on. And the Bible says she sold and Solomon gave her everything she needed. That's what the Bible says. Are you listening to me? If your brother or your sister is not married, instead of casting out devils and getting angry, go and find a married couple and look at them. They just got married and say, please, um, I bought a small gift to just bless you. And without controversy, you are fulfilling a law in the spirit. Suddenly, you see yourself walking in the anointing. I used to see Benny Hinn. I loved him so much. I See, honor doesn't just mean you package a seed. The Bible says, honor the Lord with your tithes. Many of you have been giving your tithes. That's why the heavens are not open. 
there is a way you carry it i'm not talking of being sanctimonious that you realize that i'm sowing to someone who is richer than me i'm sowing to someone who is more blessed than me and he will take me that's why the bible says, my god paul speaking shall supply your needs according to his riches in glory every time a woman's barrenness is about to finish god will send a man who is higher than her and say give him food what is god doing the widow of Zarephath. See, the Shunammite woman understood this. The moment she perceived he was a prophet of God, he said, quickly, let us build a place. And without controversy, whatever level you want to get to, there is a career of that anointing working in this earth. The reason is we have not honored them because some of them are your roommates in class. You go to class together, but you do not know the difference. Hallelujah. You have been castigating everybody who is married instead of sowing see let me tell you the truth i everybody i see every nice car that i see because i want to buy a car i just say lord thank you for this car if my friend buys a car today i will be the first person to provide fuel for that car i'm not a fool i know this principle are you listening to me you see why we are rich because we provide free bus transport for you I don't know the kinds of anointings that are here and i know that there are some anointings we do not have so we sow into your anointing by providing boss many of you are laughing and wondering why this ministry is increasing these are the laws are you listening to me every time i'm around a man of god when i went to dr Akwami's church to minister it was an honor because he's a father in the land when I entered, people were there looking at me. Oh, this is the Apostle Joshua. When I went in front of Dr. Akami, I got down on both of my knees. I don't know him. He's not my spiritual father for some of you who have been misled and misguided with devilish doctrines. And I greeted him. And then I got up. Because without controversy, the lesser is blessed of the greater. Are you listening to me many of you sit down and watch men of god on tv and you say kai this man's realm herself is so bad you have not gotten to where he's getting to you have three members and you are criticizing him there are people who criticize me today and criticize us and never walk in the anointing i tell you you can listen to all my tapes the heaven will remain short that honor is a law are you listening to me Look at the myriads of Nigerians in Abuja and Lagos queuing for jobs. Their yard mate goes to a, a lucrative office every day. Why not wake up early in the morning and polish his shoe and keep it for him? You may not understand what you are doing, but you are tapping into a law. I tell you, it will not take two weeks, they will call you. Are you listening to me? Respect this principle I'm teaching you. For your information let me give you a little secret about the prosperity of this ministry i'm sowing into the life of living faith i'm sowing into the life of kenneth copeland i'm sowing into the life of benny hin i'm sowing into the life of reinhard bonke i'm sowing into the life of Kobus van rensburg i believe them when i got up i went to south africa i was fasting i was praying i didn't go to show that i'm going abroad i had serious business there he was a career of an anointing Others were discussing and criticizing. I said, Lord, I know there is grace. And I went there. Smith Wigglesworth laid his hands on Lester Sumro. Are you listening to me? And Kobus was with Lester Sumro for one week. And he laid his hands on me. When I went there, Kobus looked at me. He said, I want to connect you to the lineage of the generals. And he laid his hands on me three times. Sorry for all the people who carry every kind of rubbish news. It's not by age. If you understand the principle you will rise are you listening to me listen to me hear me my mother and my father laid their hands and blessed me for ministry and this is why I can never fail you don't know the hands and the anointings that are responsible for what you are seeing are you listening to me I respect the careers of this anointing.
I sow into the lives of blessed people. Mike Mudok, one of my greatest financial mentors, I don't like him. I don't like him. He's a seed seed man. But he carries something I'm looking for. When he came to Koza, I couldn't, I couldn't make it. I was streaming in my room and praying in tongues for six hours, for three, three hours every day, beginning to the end of that program. I prayed for the internet, what I would have paid for my hotel bills. And some of you just get up and say, how are these people getting their anointing? And all kinds of stories. Hallelujah. Rather than celebrate, when you don't celebrate an anointing, forget about walking in it. I will never allow a man who is greater than me do what I can do for him. I go to a shop to buy something and I see an elderly woman. I, I will over my dead body for that woman to pay that money if I can pay. He mustn't be a pastor. Hallelujah. You want to raise children. You see a woman that raised eight children. All of them are disciplined. There is an anointing. That woman can, you can tap into it. Hallelujah. I see ministries that represent the things I want. Even in the realms of prosperity, I couldn't understand the prosperity on Oedeko's life. I studied this man and read his books. I couldn't find the key. I said, Lord, what kind of thing is this guy? I mean, what is it? I need to see something there. And the Lord told me, one day you are going to sow into his life. The day the Lord told me I went, I went to Canaan land. Hallelujah. And I sowed into that anointing. I came out to enter the car and the Lord told me, come out. And I came out. He said, kneel down on that ground. I knelt down and I laid my hands. And the Lord said, from today, everywhere you go, the land will open for you. And people keep criticizing. We go to CGC, it's packed full with people. We come here, packed full, blue roof. See, when you see a man prospering, find out what law is being operated. It's God that oversees his laws. I can't go to a restaurant with somebody that carries something. See, before all my brothers entered into a relationship, when they entered into a relationship, I was concerned. Ask them, Valentine's Day, I was so into it. Many of you are there grumbling and shouting and making noise. My sister is not married. What of me? Don't these guys like me? And you see your roommate who may not be as good looking as you look like. Every time she's cooking, where are you carrying this food? I'm cooking. I want to sow into an anointing. You are laughing at her. Then you see one clean brother who come out with his prosperity and say she's the one you will marry. And you, you see that God, you are not fair. Let me tell you, life will never change until you change it. For those of you who are waiting for things to change, are you listening to me? I'm showing you a law without controversy. The lesser is blessed of the greater. Hallelujah. I spoke to the protocol because we are trusting God for our boss. I told them, they told me that RCF, um, I mean, they were charging us a stipend for the boss. I said, very good. Because I was looking for a way to sow into their life. I'm looking for a boss. We are looking for a boss as a ministry. What do we do? We find a ministry that has what we are looking for and sow into it. Many people sit in Zaria here. They are broke. They are poor. Their ministries are broke. But people are running from Abuja, running from everywhere. They come and catch the fire and sow into the anointing. I'm not talking of seed. It's the law of honor. Are you listening to me? Thank you, Jesus. If you believe this, go and tell your brothers and sisters who are looking for jobs and looking for this and looking for marriage and looking for all of these things. Nothing will change. The Bible says when God saw their faith, faith can be seen. It's hope that cannot be seen. Many people have been doing hope. What they call faith. Sometimes I sit down and I'm watching television. And I watch Benny Hinn, I watch Kobus, I watch all of these people, and I'm kneeling down. We took the leaders, hear me, and all the heads of department, because Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, they have a level of prosperity and excellence that is touching. You will be a wicked person to deny. Hallelujah. Other people were discussing, who are these people said, know this, know that. I told the leaders, Manasseh suggested it, and I said, quickly, 
the heads of departments and the ministers we went and we lodged in an expensive hotel in abuja it wasn't because we wanted to waste money the lesser is blessed of the greater when we went there listen to me the head of department went to go and meet the head of department there and walked there the head of protocol went to go and meet them why will you be surprised that we are excellent and without controversy the lesser is blessed of the greater i'm showing you a key i promise you it will open any door every time i am in lack i find those who are prosperous quick quick with the remaining money i don't waste my time sitting i don't waste my time no no listen let me tell you something listen to me hi lord in john 21 the bible says peter said i want to show you something your skill can fail you are you listening to me it was a time of recession i was saying lord give me a word for this recession i've had many preachers and god showed me something do you know peter was a fisherman realize that there was a time jesus told him go and fish and take the mouth from the coin that means your potentials and your gift is supposed to bring prosperity however there are times it can fail what law do you engage in when it fails let me show you the bible says peter went to fish and found out that there was no fish suddenly there was no fish a fisherman who used to fish all the time there was no fish and the bible says when you went jesus saw them listen to what jesus tells them in john 21 he said children how many people is jesus older than among the disciples he said children it was a test of honor children have you caught any fish they said no he said cast your net that's you have passed the test they would have said children Peter said, I'm married. They killed all your age mates from two years and below. I'm not older than you with two years old. How can a man call them children? My mother started calling me her father. I promise you, her poultry and her business just expanded. Hey, could it be that you have been missing something? Could it be that your miracle has been passing you? And you have been praying and hitting keys in the spirit without knowing which door is opening when my mother came here that's why quickly before we said anything i did what i called her i said speak to this work without controversy when it was time for her to go back i packaged a dangerous seed and i went and met her i may be your son but this is not the issue of son now I tapped into that grace quickly. Many of you see careers of anointings that you want. And you just keep looking at them all the time. Mukhtar, his laundry services is doing very well. He's a leader. He finished serving from Engineering Students Fellowship. And he's very good. Let me tell you a little history about this guy. Are you listening to me? For one year, Mukhtar came and was, before he started his business, he was dry cleaning my suit for one year. One solid year as a seed. He knew what he was doing. When you see the worship team and all these people doing what they are doing, they are tapping into graces. There are many of you, you are, your job is to grumble and complain. There are many people that I honor and sow into their lives is not because they are nice people. I look at the weakness of others and get the gold in them. I'm interested in the anointing. When, let me tell you, when I'm watching a man that carries something, I can slap you if you come to, dis, to, to, to disturb me. I don't, I'm not the kind of person that is in church. Before you do it, oh, I'm seen and you are not getting anything. I give my rapt attention. My spirit is open. I'm saying, Lord, the guy, the guy may be joking for 30 minutes. I'm tired of this joke. Show me this key. And you sit down there. There are times I play messages of Benny Hinn. I'm not listening to the message. I just want to saturate under the anointing. And I'm praying in tongues. I'm praying in tongues. I'm praying in tongues. For about one month, that was the song that, that was, it was his worship songs that I slept with all through the night. They will play all through the night. I'm just trying to show you that this is not a mistake. Do you know that if you honor people, final year students, we have started our, our meeting with you tomorrow this night. 
Many of you see the ministers. You just come because they are your colleagues. You just tap them. Ah, edgy alpha. I'm not saying you just lie down and lick people's leg. But I tell you the truth. You can sit down and tap into anointings. I never go and see a man that is higher than me empty handed. No matter what happens, even if it is 10 naira, I must put it in my pocket. And at the end of it, I will bless him. Are you listening to me? I want to show you that there are laws and there are principles that are working. I repented from castigating people and criticizing people. Any grace that I see, I humble myself. I say, Lord, you have empowered these people. Suddenly, sometimes I listen to the tapes once. Do you know, aside from last week's tape, there is no koinonia message I don't listen to. I can easily say it's my ministry. I download it. I don't ask the media to bring it. I want it to cost me something. I download it. And every time I'm prophesying, or the man of God is prophesying rather, I get down on my knees. God is my witness. I say, Lord, I believe your servant. He's about to speak a word. I believe the anointing he's carrying. I promise myself that for a long time, nobody will sow into this ministry more than me. It's not because it's my ministry. I believe in the anointing that is carried. Many of you come and you just sit down and look at people. You see the ushers. You see everybody. God is opening doors for them. You're just smiling and looking and complaining and ranting and shouting and doing all kinds of things. I tell you, friends, if you obey this law, there is nothing that will not work for you. Your father was driven out of the job and his brother is still working. That's the time for him to go and greet his brother. Go and greet his brother and say, ah, well done, sir. And when they get to filling station, the remaining 4,000 that is left, carry 2,000 inside and say, please get fuel. Insist that they use your money and sow into the anointing that is working. Do you believe this? Or many of you are still saying, is that all? Do you believe this? I tell you the truth. See, let me tell you. If I were some of you seated here, I promise you, I will never allow any anointing pass me by unnoticed. If I wake up in the morning blind, by evening my eyes would have opened. I will find everybody who is seen and clean their shoe. I will just say, I'm sitting with a rag and water, I'm blind. Everybody whose eyes is open, please come and pass. Let me wash your leg. When God wanted men, he sowed his seed into the earth and Jesus gave birth to a harvest that is still happening till now. We are going to pray. I know we have taken time, but I'm showing you a mystery that will open every door for you find careers of your anointing whether it's even if it's only once you meet them in your life they may not be men of god some of them may not even be born again hallelujah you sow into the anointings every seed that comes into my life i divide it and i begin to sow the tithe of this ministry every week each and every week we are sowing it many of you have been giving but you have only been doing charity you have not been rising because you look and say ah god tells you package this seed go and sow it into joshua selman's life he said god for god forbid i'm seeing suits like me i'll go and sow and you see somebody stand with a plate outside and he's begging you and you go and throw 20 naira you'll be rewarded because you did charity but that wealthy place, you will not enter it. No way. It's not done that way. Are you listening to me? During miracle service, you are standing. Some of you are frowning and just looking. These people say, why are they always joking? Call my case. Instead of you to come and be praying and say, Lord, part of my prayer request, there is grace. There is grace to receive. You can honor a man even without him knowing and you receive that anointing. Go and see what koinonia messages are doing in Futmina. Go and see the kind, the rip, the miracles and the revival that is happening in Futmina. I, I, I wasn't even aware until someone started giving me stories. I tell you, people catching fire. 
but there are some of you who are sitting down here you hear prophecies that will come and you just laugh where i wonder where you think your miracle is coming from when paul was going to damascus and he fell the bible says god commanded ananias in other words he recognized he was a carrier of that glory and ananias said brother paul god sent me that i should lay my hands on you that your eyes be open and that you receive the baptism of the holy ghost and paul said yes i've seen it in a vision and he laid hands on him many of you come in every week you see prosperity you see excellence you feel god is calling you into ministry every time you see every man of god you come and talk and look and say ah jakes i saw you that day at the faculty and suddenly the door is closed you will secretly get his tape and listen to and you find out that the door is not opening you can't find that key are you learning something tonight graduates forget about that nonsense of trying to look for your uncle or auntie if i were you and we are going to talk tomorrow by 12 right here as soon as you finish go and find somebody that is working polish his shoe while you are polishing God is calling you into ministry you prepare or God told you you will marry a minister go and find a pastor William's wife is coming here every week every week you are seeing her after you finish you say ah give me five you just shake her and the door closes and you shake empty hands and somebody can come and say lord if i may but touch the helm of his garment that's how many of you keep sitting here people come from other states less than 30 minutes they have caught fire and caught an anointing are you getting blessed i'm not saying you should give me money i'm blessed you know that and without controversy the lesser is blessed of the greater every time you see people serving you and sowing into you and you are laughing say kai that means i'm a big man you are not wise you should turn quickly and start finding a way there is he that scattered and increased there is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty i can't be a failure in life no way not when there is one career of an anointing hallelujah when Pastor Biodu was going to bring Dr. Miles Munro. Do you know what they did? What I mean, um, um, what's his name? The Mike Mudok. Do you know what they did? One month before he came, they got all his tapes and they made the choir to practice his songs. Say after me, honor. As soon as he was entering his hotel room, a grand piano was there playing the songs he wrote. He announced it on air that in all his life and ministry he has gone around the world. No ministry has honored him like this. The honorarium that they were supposed to give him, they doubled it times three and sold it into his life. There are people who have been in Abuja since 1991. 1991, they don't have their building. When he came into Abuja, he went and met the pastor with the largest church and greeted him. Many of you are there on campus. God called me into ministry. You are foolishly doing things. There are people who have run this race before you. You can't come and greet them. You see them, you just push them. I touched somebody and they fell down. It will tire you. See, now it's not, it's not like before that they tell somebody, no, no, you see, stay back and let go, go, go and do ministry. Hallelujah. Well on campus, we were all already in ministry. I tell you, we were men of God. But I served in FCS till I finished. I was a prayer secretary, engineering students fellowship. We were already in ministry, doing great things. Jakes was the president of NACA. Ejimi was QT, QT, uh, uh, he was in QT. Hallelujah. Manasseh was in faculty of arts. He was prayer secretary. Bishop became the prayer secretary after me, right? And then he became the president of engineering students fellowship. Are you listening to me? 
we were ministry but we knew the power of service and tapping into anointings that was higher than us from there i became the national prayer secretary of conference of nigerian christian engineering students then we all were serving jakes became the president of some of the people who we got born again later became our leaders in fcs and we still told them yes sir we'll go to their father's church and preach and come and say yes sir to them but we're still saying yes sir because it was about office not person are you listening to me so why will you be surprised today that he and i will never lack people who are serving are you listening to me it's a law and it's a principle after tonight's meeting we're going to pray two prayer points the first prayer point is you are going to ask God and say, Lord, I have allowed the careers of my anointing to pass me by without recognizing them. From today, open my eyes to practice the law of honor. I need to begin to work in uncommon results. There are careers. Rise up on your feet. Somebody's life is changing. I tell you, somebody's life is changing this is one of the most powerful message you would have had in 2012 and without controversy the lesser i've given you a key tonight i tell you it will unlock any door i don't care what that door is it will unlock every door doors of jobs doors of ministry doors of business doors of power say Lord I repent from dishonoring the careers it may be your mother it may be your father it may be somebody by the roadside it may be an elderly woman somewhere an elderly man somewhere it may be your head of department it may be people around look beyond the man see an anointing that can take you to a new level and without controversy the lesser is empowered enriched blessed lifted glorified honored by the greater let this key open a door for you doors of greatness doors of new anointings doors of increase doors of business doors of marriage doors of family doors of jobs hallelujah hallelujah now you are going to pray and you are going to prophesy and say in the name of jesus i honor every career of the anointing that i need in my life you may not meet some of them for the rest of your life but you can honor them and it can be recorded in the spirit it may be your mother it may be a woman that gave birth to a good or a woman that has a good husband you are looking for a good husband you want a new car you want a new job you want promotion you don't get it by dishonor some vessels are on to honor some vessels are on to dishonor if you can recognize this you are a wise man. You are a wise woman. We are rounding up. Come on, pray. Bataka posatai. Mam preteke pariyadabash. Sekete baladabash. Lord, I serve with my seed. I serve with my time. I serve with good report. In the name of Jesus. Bateke posia. I recognize anointings. I respect anointings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Listen to me. When you look at a man, you may not know when you see a man who is anointed, find out the encounters that brought that man to that level. Are you listening to me? Find out what level of grace someone may come up the podium or he may preach on TV. He may not have the utterance you are looking for. Find out what brought him on TV that you have not yet gone. Somebody may come up here and may be preaching in Hausa and you are having to, they are having to interpret and you laugh and say, hey, this guy cannot preach. You are there seated at the back. The person is there in front. There must be something he carried. I tell you, if you don't recognize this, you can, see, let me tell you, honor is not something you say, I, I did it in my heart. Lie, lie. It's a law. Somebody will do it for you too. So you have to honor. Any man, not just a pastor, whoever carries what you don't carry, respect the sacrifice that brought it and you will see that you are stepping into it. Listen, let me give you a secret. For those of you who are preachers, every time you go to preach in a place and you see someone who is higher than you in the anointing, recognize the grace of God upon that man. The meeting has opened unto you. If you come with arrogance, if I come today and Manasseh is occupying a higher spiritual position than me and I refuse to recognize him, I promise you, you will struggle in that meeting. The heavens will close. I don't care what kind of anointing you carry. It's a loss. People don't know. No matter who you are, you won't change it. Many of you after now may need to send texts to certain people you have insulted. Careers of your anointing. When they speak, they spit on your face because of how they talk. That's none of your business. You are looking for something. God knows why he didn't put it inside you and put it inside them. Hallelujah. I have a big burden because there are certain kinds of anointings in this house I have not seen in the lives of many people yet. And I know that is because many of you either do not honor it and do not respect it. I'm not talking of lying and rolling on the floor. My greatest, my greatest desire is not to be a superstar Joshua Selman standing. I tell you, my greatest desire is that every one of you, there are many anointings that are for the taking. Many of you don't know how to receive. And let me tell you something. The careers of your anointing are not always within your reach. Every day, the price is more. Every day, the price is more. A day will come, it will cost you more than it's costing you right now. I tell you the truth. There are many people, for instance, with all humility. I, when I used to have a lot of time, you remember those times? We we'll sit down, sometimes some of the ministers were around. But right now, we don't have that luxury. Every day, it keeps moving further. If you don't see it, a time will come, Elijah will move. You are looking, you will not see the chariot. Someone will come from behind and see the chariot and carry a mantle. Hallelujah. Very soon, many generals of God are leaving Zaria. Many of you are the ones who will carry the next fire of revival. In your arrogance and pompousness, you will never look and say there are anointings. What did these people carry that made them shake the campus? What did these people carry in the midst of persecution, in the midst of pain and say, Lord, would you cause that there be a rain on my life? What keys open the door of prosperity? What keys open the door of influence? Many of you don't know what is bringing people inside and outside. You are busy castigating and say, hey, crowd does not matter. Instead of you to say, Lord, there is a key. Once upon a time, these people were not there. What brought them? The train is moving. And for those who can see, you can catch something and ride on it. Kaposa Tabala. Without controversy, the lesser I tell you a secret of commanding results. You will command results. God put results on earth to be reproduced. Not to be stood with one man. He who has an ear tonight, let him hear. Hallelujah.
believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, call 081-38-325463 or 0033-508735 or 0034-003936. You can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash Koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash Koinonia underscore ENI You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Eternity Network International duplicating the fullness of God's life and earth